I'm Maximilian Safapur. I'm director of the government and regulatory affair back in BSF and Research Triangle Park, North Carolina. Let's talk a little bit about uh, the event here today and some of the things that, that you're sharing with others. Well, we are excited. We saw the excitement from the colleagues of you here as well. And we'll, this is the first time we are introducing the living acres here. And so we are excited about it. Some other folks are also excited. They can transfer this information and share it with the farmers. What are we doing here, what we have discussed today here by the living acres, basically increasing the biodiversity and educating the farmers how to prepare the habitat for the monarchs. They can transfer this information to farmers. Farmers can have an impact. When we talk about this Living Acres program, why is this so important uh, to BASF and to the farmers as well? Yeah, it is important for all of us, not only BASF, first from the social, second from the environmental perspective, and also what we're we doing, we increase in the biodiversity. Biodiversity and high yield agriculture production can coexist. The research we are doing and is we working toward that way we can show that and we can share that this finding with farmers, with everywhere, with everyone, with other stakeholders, how monarch can coexist with high yield agriculture production. When we talk about these monarchs, why why is this so important to the ecosystem and, and uh, to continue uh, for agriculture? Well, first we all love the iconic species. The monarch is a beautiful uh, insect and is uh, everyone can see it, everyone can enjoy it. Populations are declining due to multiple factors we can, because it can be the overwintering, can be the drought and can be all kind of the factors and getting rid of the milkweeds in uh, everywhere in, in, in the farming and non-farming area. So we need to increase the monarch habitat and so in order to increase the population of the monarch this is one of the also just recent initiative by the white house and also the other folks within the society this is a nice thing to do contribute to biodiversity sustainability for future agriculture if folks would like to learn more about living acres what's the best way to do so Best way is, this is the first time, first we introduced the media here, we haven't shared it with anywhere else. They can contact us or we can share with them through our, we will have a website in the BASF. We will disclose, we will discuss our research finding and also what we're doing with Monarch's Habitat with the Living Acres Project. Thank you. Thank you so much. From Commodity Classic in New Orleans, I'm Megan Grebner on Brownfield.